Lady Mars with Mary and Captain and you. Get on the bus! Hey, Schooly Scouts, I hope you're eating good food with people you love today. <laughs> or tomorrow, I guess it is. Thanksgiving used to be a really big deal in my family. I mean, it was until about three years ago. And in 2017, my dad passed away a couple of days before Thanksgiving. So it's just kind of a different thing for us now. My mom and I went to the National Cemetery in Bourne, Mass, where my dad's ashes are interred. It's not a grave, but I, he's, he's in like a wall. I don't know what you call it. My mom said she didn't want the wheelchair. She stood there for a few minutes and she talked to him. I still miss you. Where it says lovey, that's her. That's what my dad called her. Her ashes will be here too. That's where I'll be. After they had their little chat, we that sang Sweet Caroline. So to the wall, which is the theme song of the Boston Red Sox. And then we ate lunch at the diner up the street. A lot of who I am comes from my dad. He wasn't a writer, but he was a storyteller for sure. See, he enjoyed talking so much that putting the words on paper would probably have felt like a waste to him, you know? His stories came out in conversation, and he told them to you whether you wanted to hear them or not. He always had so many things to say. My dad was a guy who used his voice, and it was a great voice. He, could, he was a great singer, but besides that, on his wall square, his, I'm going to figure out what it's called, but his thing, his grave, whatever you call it, you might have seen that it says the voice of Waltham Fire. And that's what it said in the newspaper when he retired. It called him the voice of the Waltham Fire Department. See, my dad was a dispatcher for the fire department back before they had 911 centers when it was just called Fire Alarm. So his was the voice you would hear on the radio. He was the one who decided what fire trucks to send. He loved the art and the science of firefighting more than he even loved fire. And yeah, he loved fire. Okay, I was gonna say, oh, he had a deep respect for fire, but let's just be honest, he loved fire, okay? I can remember him waking me up with my mittens in his hand and saying, wanna go to a fire? And then we would get in the car and we'd just go off and watch something burn down. I'm gonna have to do a whole video on fire. You know, my relationship with fire, my dad's relationship with fire. It's not as weird as it sounds. A few times on my way back into New England, I've passed this sign for a firefighter memorial in Connecticut. This time I was thinking about my dad and I just got off the freeway and I followed the signs. And I know how YouTube is. I know that there's always something over here that you absolutely have to see because YouTube's really great at that. But I hope you'll stick around. I am posting this video in memory of my dad, Edward A. Biggins. He didn't, you know, die in the line of duty like the people in this memorial did. He was 84 and long retired. And anyway, his job was logistics. But I want to post this for him and honor him with all these other fallen heroes because he would have loved this place and because he was my dad. And that's enough for me. So I hope you stay and watch it. But either way, thank you for being here. 14 years ago I left to wound a friend. I'm already home Took my name after you wrestled me and said I'm already home I'm already Sure, I kissed you, but I'm walking with a limp. I'm already home. And I'm not saying it doesn't hurt to carry this. I'm already home. I'm already home.
yesterday is hurling through me like a storm. I'm already home. Grace is singing how's the war ages on. I'm Sign